welcome back to my channel my name is Allison I am so excited for today's video because I am going to be filming a fall sweater haul from Amazon I have never ordered any clothing off of Amazon um, but it is fall time so I wanted to pick up some sweaters all of these sweaters that I have purchased are all under $30 I am super interested to see what the quality looks like also if the sweater actually matches what the picture look like on Amazon so if you guys want to see all of the sweaters that I got from Amazon then just keep watching Okay guys, so I have my first sweater right here. Um, I obviously don't know which one is gonna be in which package. I think I have nine sweaters that I ordered. Um, two of them are almost more like sweatshirts. So let's open this up and see which one is in here. Okay guys, the first sweater that I have is this really cute like cheetah leopard print sweater. Um, just by looking at it, it does not look like a sweater material. It looks more of just like a regular t-shirt material. So this sweater was $19.99 and I did order a size medium. Um, just by looking at it, I can already tell that it's not really a sweater material. It looks like more of just a regular t-shirt material. Um, which is kind of disappointing because online it definitely looked more of like a actual sweater material um, So this is what it looks like. It's definitely um, very cheap feeling um, But it's just a long sleeve shirt and I really thought this was a sweater material But it's just looking like a shirt material. Um, it definitely looks pretty cheap um, so we'll have to try this on and anything that I feel like I don't really like I'm probably going to end up returning just so I don't waste any money um, It looks okay. It does look like it's gonna be a little bit see-through um, I don't know how I feel about this I will have to try it on and see but again I will put a picture right here to show you guys what the sweater online looks like um, and then I'm gonna do a try on haul as well to show you guys what this looks like on so let's try this on Okay guys, so I decided to go ahead and try this on. Um, I just realized in the Amazon photo, it is not actually a sweater, it's actually just a shirt. Um, so I think I just saw that wrong. Um, but the material is just super cheap looking um, and the sleeves kind of fit me weird. So I'm probably not going to end up keeping this. I'm probably going to end up returning this. Okay guys, the next sweater that I have is just this plain black knit sweater. I did order a size medium. I like my sweaters to be a little bit baggier. Um, and this was $21.99. So just by looking at it, it is more of a actual sweater material unlike the first one. Um, and this one is supposed to be kind of like an off the shoulder sweater. Okay, this looks really weird. Um, this might look better on, um, but I don't know if you guys are going to be able to tell. But the top is kind of looking a little bit strange. I don't know if that's just because it's supposed to be off the shoulder. So once you kind of do put it off the shoulder, it looks more normal. Um, but it actually looks pretty good as long as it looks right on. The sleeves are a little bit baggy right here. Um, and then it just cuffs at the sleeve. Um, but this one looks promising. And again, this was only $21.99. So I feel like that's a really good deal. Um, I don't think the quality is super high. Obviously, it's only like a $20 sweater. Um, but I feel like it looks pretty cute. I will also put a picture right here of what this sweater actually looks like online um, Just so you guys can compare it to what it looks like in person, um, but let's try this on Okay guys, so I have this black off the shoulder sweater on. Um, I really like it with a bralette underneath of it. I was a little bit worried that the top part was gonna look kind of weird, um, but when it is off the shoulder, it ends up actually looking super cute. Um, the bottom part is a little bit tight, um, but if you tuck it into your jeans or just pull it down, it's totally fine. Um, and the sleeves ended up being long enough as well. So I think this is a sweater I'm definitely going to keep. Um, and I think it'll be super cute to do different color bralettes underneath. Um, but I'm gonna give this one a thumbs up. Okay guys, this next sweater that I have is more of like a form-fitting sweater. It's kind of this like dusty rose kind of color. This sweater was $20.98 and I ordered a size small. Um, the reason I ordered size small in this one is because it just looked more of like form-fitting. Um, so I didn't want the sleeves to be super baggy. Um, but again, this is actually kind of cute. I don't think that any of these sweaters are gonna be super high quality, obviously, because they're all under $30. Um, but this is what it looks like. It's definitely not um, showing up the right color on camera. Um, it's definitely more of like a dusty, um, kind of like rose color. It's kind of looking more like peachy-ish on camera. Um, but it does have a little v-neck um, kind of cut out in the front. I thought this was supposed to be a three quarters length sleeve, um, but it's looking more of like a full length sleeve. And I did order a size small on this. Um, this does look bigger than a size small, 
um, but maybe when I wash it, it will be okay. Um, it looks a lot cuter in person, I think, than it is on camera. So I will go ahead and put a picture right here of what it looks like on Amazon. Um, but let's go ahead and try this on and see what it looks like. Okay guys, so I just have this mauve kind of dusty rose sweater on. Um, it definitely looked better in the Amazon photo. Um, it kind of looks cheap in person and the material doesn't look as good as well. Um, but it is cute and I think I probably will end up keeping it. Okay guys, the next sweater that I have is just this khaki waffle knit sweater. Um, I ordered a size small in this sweater and this sweater was only $19.99, so under $20. Okay, so just by feeling this sweater, it is super soft. Um, I think this is like the best quality um, out of all the sweaters. Um, I think this is definitely going to be a three quarter length sleeve. Um, and then it just has these buttons in the front. And then it also has these little, let me see if I can show you guys. Um, it also has these little ties so you can tie right here. Um, so I feel like the sweater is going to be super cute on. Um, again, it feels super soft. It does look a little bit see through. Um, but I think it will end up being okay. And then again, I'm going to put a picture right here so you guys can see what the Amazon photo looks like, um, compared to what it looks like right here. Um, and let's go ahead and try this on. Okay guys, so I just have this khaki sweater on. I think that this is honestly one of the best sweaters that I have got from Amazon. I really like the little tie detail at the bottom. This sweater is honestly super, super soft. And I feel like for the price, it is such a good deal um, and pretty decent quality. So I'm definitely gonna end up keeping this sweater. Okay guys, so the next sweater I actually have is just this white sweater. Um, this is actually the same exact sweater as the black one that I already showed you guys. I did order a size medium and the sweater is $21.99. Um, so I already kind of saw what the black one looked like. Um, the only thing I'm worried about with this one is that it's white, so I'm worried that it's going to be kind of see-through, which I think that it's going to be. Um, but I could wear like a bralette with this or something, and I feel like it would be okay. Um, I am worried about what the top is going to look like, just because it kind of has, like, it just looks weird, but it is supposed to be off the shoulder. Um, so I'm hoping that that is kind of why it looks like that. And then again, it just has these cuff sleeves at the end, and then it's kind of baggier right here. Um, but I think this looks pretty cute and I feel like it would be really cute with like an army green like bralette underneath of it, some like ripped jeans, um, and some cute little booties or something. Again, I'm going to put a photo right here to show you guys what the Amazon photo looks like, but I'm going to go ahead and try this on and we will see what this looks like. Okay guys, I just have this white sweater on. It's the same as the black one I showed you guys earlier. Um, I was really disappointed because this sweater was super see-through and I just had a white bralette underneath of it. Um, so I'm probably not going to end up keeping this sweater just because it is see-through. Um, but I really was so disappointed because I was in need of a white sweater. Um, but I'm definitely going to be returning this. Okay guys, this next item I am super excited about. It is this three-quarter um, zip-up kind of like sweater um, sweatshirt. It's not really like sweater material. It's more of like a sweatshirt, but it is so cute and I'm really hoping that the quality is good and that it fits me. Um, this was $28.99 and I ordered a size small just because I wanted it to be a little bit more form fitting. Um, so I definitely can already tell that it is very cheap looking. Um, I don't know like when it's on how it's going to look. Um, and I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, it's kind of that like cheap, um, I don't know, just like cheapy like material. Um, so I'm not sure about this one. It still looks cute. I think that it still would look cute on. Um, and then the sleeves again, just cuff right there. I'm hoping that the sleeves will be long enough. Um, it definitely is kind of see-through around the camo part, um, but I feel like this might be okay. We'll have to see what this looks like on, um, but it does have a pocket right here in the front. Um, again, it's more of like a sweatshirt, not really like a sweater, but I thought this would really be cute with either just some plain black leggings or some jeans and vans or something. I will put a picture right here to show you guys what the Amazon picture looks like. Um, it definitely, obviously, it didn't look as cheap as it does in person, but again, it's only $28.99, so I wasn't expecting super great quality, um, but let's try this on and see what it looks like. Okay, guys, so I was really excited for the sweater, and I'm really sad because it does not fit me. The sleeves are way too short, and then the material around the collar kind of looked a little bit cheap, as well as the camo part as well, um, so I'm probably not going to end up keeping this. I will probably end up returning it. Um, but I'm going to have to give this a thumbs down just because the quality is not very good.
Okay, guys, the next two sweaters that I have are from the same exact seller. Um, I don't think that they're the same sweater. I'm not sure. One is gray and one is burgundy. Um, but this one was $23.99, and it was one size fits all, so it'll be super interesting to see the sizing. Um, I don't mind my sweaters being on the baggier side, so we're going to have to see what this looks like on. Um, but actually, just by looking at it, it's actually kind of cute. Um, you can tell that it's a little bit cheaper. Again, same thing with all of these. It's more of just like a regular crew neck. And then it just goes into the sleeves. So I think this will be a full sleeve sweater. Um, and then I'm going to try to show you guys, but it is a little bit longer. This actually looks like the perfect size to have a baggy sweater. Um, this would be really cute with some black leggings and some like high boots or something. I think this sweater actually looks pretty similar to the photo on Amazon. I will put that right here so you guys can see. Um, but I think that this actually looks pretty good. So let's try this on and see what it looks like. Okay guys, so I have this gray knit sweater on. Um, this is super cute and super comfortable and I feel like it fit me really well. Again, this was a one size fits all sweater um, and it is a little bit baggy on me so I feel like it would fit a lot of people. Um, but I realized after I edited this video that there was no pocket in the sweater that I received and there was a pocket um, in the picture on Amazon. So I think I might end up returning this. Okay guys, that last gray sweater was $23.99 and this next sweater is $23.99. $23.98 so literally a penny cheaper I'm not sure why they do that but this sweater is from the same exact seller as that last gray one um, so let's open it up and see what it looks like okay so just by feeling this sweater um, it's a lot softer and it's a little bit of a different material than that gray sweater um, so this one kind of the same neckline um, on the top and then just the long sleeves and I think that this one, yeah, this one has a little pocket. I don't know if that last one had a pocket or not. Again, these were a one size fits all. Um, and I do like baggy sweaters. This actually feels like decent quality, which I'm super surprised by because the other one was like, mm, it was okay. But this one feels super soft and I'm actually really impressed with it. Um, and I feel like this is for sure going to look pretty good on. I think this is a sweater I will for sure keep. And for what, $23? I feel like that is such a steal for a sweater. I will show you guys a picture of what it looks like on Amazon. Um, but I think this is going to be super cute. So let's try it on. Okay, guys, so I just have this burgundy sweater on. Um, after looking at the picture from Amazon, the sweater that I actually got, it doesn't look like it's the same material, um, but the sweater is still super cute and super comfy. The only thing is, is the pocket is kind of positioned a little bit weird, um, but I'm for sure going to keep this because it is super comfy and super cute. Okay, guys, this is the last item that I'm going to be showing you guys, and I think it is the one I am most excited for. Um, I recently got this really, really fuzzy Volcom black sweatshirt. Um, we were out at the beach and it was getting cold. So I ended up getting this really, really fuzzy black sweatshirt. Um, and I'm literally obsessed with it. It is so hot here in California right now. Um, but at nighttime, it's perfect. I even just wear it around the house because it is super cozy. But it was literally like $70. It was so expensive. I really wanted another sweatshirt that was similar. But I didn't want to spend that much money. So I came across this one on Amazon. And I want to show you guys a package. It is like literally flat. So I'm pretty sure this one is like vacuum sealed. Um, so I want to open this up and show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I did order a size medium in the sweatshirt and this was $26.99 and I was right, it is vacuum sealed. Um, so it'll be interesting to open this up and kind of see what it looks like. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the packaging. Um, I'm assuming they do this because it's super, super fluffy and it would take up a lot more room if they didn't do this. Um, so I'm going to cut this open and we are going to see what it looks like. Okay guys, so I just got it out of the packaging and already it is definitely not what I thought it was. Um, I'll put a picture right here to show you guys what the Amazon photo looked like. Um, definitely way, way cheaper and it has a weird smell. Okay, it kind of smells weird, um, but I can wash it. Um, I'm already really disappointed. I was super excited for this. Um, I don't know what I was expecting. It was $26.99, so I thought it might be a little bit better than this. It's already a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be. Um, it doesn't even really look like the same color. I thought it was going to be more of like a beigey color, and this is like definitely more gray. Um, I think that this is going to be comfy for sure. Um, let me feel the inside. So the inside's soft too. The picture on Amazon made it look a lot more thick and fluffy. Um, this is definitely super, super thin. Um, it does still feel soft, and I think it will be comfy. Um, it looks pretty 
big like it honestly almost looks like a large i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell um i will try it on to show you guys the sizing um this might be something that i end up returning i'm not sure yet um yeah i don't know this is definitely going to be one of those things that i probably if i do keep it will just lounge around in the house um i don't know if i would wear this out just because i feel like it might fit a little bit weird it does feel soft um just not as thick and fluffy as i thought it was going to be so let's try this on um i'm kind of sad because i was really excited for this um but let's try it on and see what it looks like okay guys so i was super excited for this jacket at first um but then i realized it does not look like the amazon picture at all it's super super thin and the picture on amazon made it look really thick and fluffy um it also looks like it's a different color than the one that i saw on amazon as well um so i think i am gonna return it just because the quality isn't very good um, and it just doesn't match the picture on Amazon at all. Okay guys, I just wanted to give you my final thoughts on everything. The sweaters that I'm gonna end up keeping is just this plain black knit sweater, and I will make sure to link all of these down below just in case you guys wanted to pick any of these up. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this burgundy sweater. I feel like this one definitely was the highest quality out of all of them. Um, this one's super soft, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one as well. Um, and then the next one that I will probably end up keeping is this kind of like dusty mauve um, sweater. Um, this one, definitely you can't wear a long sleeve. It has to be three quarter lengths, but I'm pretty sure that's how it's intended to be anyway. So I'm going to keep this one as well. I'm also going to go ahead and keep this little khaki sweater. I really like the tie down here. Um, and this again is super soft. I feel like this sweater was super good quality and I feel like it was super cute with a little bralette underneath of it. Um, so I do really like this one and I'm keeping this one as well. And then the last sweater I ended up deciding to keep was just this um, black and white knit sweater. It was the same as the burgundy one, but just a different color. So I feel like this video was super hit or miss. Even the items that I decided to go ahead and keep are obviously not super high quality. These were all under $30, so I wasn't expecting super nice quality stuff. Um, but I'm not going to keep the cheetah print shirt, I don't think. Um, the camo sweater, the fuzzy sweater, or the white sweater. Those items were either see-through, um, they didn't fit right, or the quality just wasn't there. I was super excited for that fuzzy sweater and the quality just was not there. So I'm really sad about that. Um, but I hope this helped you guys um, decide. Sometimes I add things to my Amazon cart and I'm not sure if the quality is going to be good or not. Um, I would say certain things are okay, certain things aren't. If you aren't super worried about the quality being super high, I would say go ahead and go for it. Um, you can always return things, um, and that's what I'm going to go ahead and do with a couple of my items that I have. I hope this video was kind of helpful for you. If you have wanted to kind of try out Amazon clothing and you weren't really sure, um, I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. Okay, guys, that was it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are not subscribed already. It would honestly mean the world to me. Also, leave any video suggestions that you might have for me in the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.